I'm like, if there was an 8% tax cap, would that be insufficiently large for you? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. Against all tax caps or just tax cap of a certain amount? Like, for instance, if there was an 8% tax cap, would that be insufficiently large for you? Would you be unable to live with an 8% rate of increase each year? Another question for you, I think. <laughs> Are you on the board? Yeah. Oh, on the school board? Yeah. A question for you. I understand you folks have there has been a proposal for a tax cap on the school board. Do you support that? I don't know what you're talking about. It was at the deliberative session. It was brought up. Oh, way back uh, during the vote? Yeah. Yeah, no. I'd have to look at it some more, but no, we're not in favor of that. So. We? Yeah, the board's not in favor. i got to go. Do you think for yourself? For, no. for me? No. You don't think for yourself? No, I, I, for me, <laughs> okay. I don't believe personally that we should have a cap like that. So I see. I mean, would you, were you against all caps, or would you be just against a cap of 1% or something like that? If it was a cap was 8%, would you be able to live with that? So, someone should make a proposal. Let's see the full range of what the proposal would entail. There's been one for 10% and one for 0.5%. I don't basically remember the one that we had for the vote, so... Would you be against a cap of 10%? I have to see it. I have to see what the whole proposal entails. Well, it came out during the deliberative session, didn't it? The only one that, that got voted on at the deliberative session was the one that came from the petition article. The smaller one. I don't know if there was any others besides that, but that's the only one that I saw. Okay. So. okay. All right. Appreciate your time. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for secret entrances or uh, entrances that only the authorities can use. I wonder if that's one of them. I haven't seen many people walk past me recently. To get from where they are over there, you know, I would have expected they would walk through here and over here, or that they might walk from that location to this location. But that hasn't been happening, really. Okay, so it looks like I was probably premature with my <laughs> back entrance conspiracy theory. Most of them are still in here, so they haven't moved out yet, and I don't know what they'll do when they move. Yeah, one of the guys just pointed at me, so everyone's kind of looking over here. That guy's still filming. Are you on the board? No, I'm not. Are you with the administration? Yes. Oh, a question. What, what role, if I might ask? I'm the director of special education. Oh, okay. Can't think of any questions for you. Oh, but thank you. Okay. <laughs> so I guess in this general area is where I'll have to sort of stand at first, right there, before the meeting starts. Can't, I don't think I should probably be there after the meeting starts. I only want to be disruptive intellectually, not physically. Do you want some chalk? Porcupine Christians! Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. Although they don't get that much attention, perfectly normal Christian families are an important part of the Free Stater movement, and Porkfest specifically. You'll find a cluster of them at campsites 2 and 4. Drop by if you like. Porkfest is just as accepting of religion as it is of libertines. To learn more, visit Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.